It seems this government was more concerned about the issues of plurality than morality, and the leading players in the government and news international, Coulson, Rebecca Woods, and Aunt Brooks, and I'm glad she's gone today. It's a step towards a decent and responsible journalism in this country, though I'm afraid the 200 workers that have gone down the road from the news of the world might not appreciate that point too much. And the Prime Minister pretended that they didn't know. All these said, I didn't know, it wasn't me, Gov. Even um, Ms Brooks, I'm told in a statement now, says she likes to be on the bridge. Well, I was a seafarer of 10 years. I wouldn't like her on the bridge if she didn't know what was going on or where she was going and what direction it was. And that's why she has gone, thank God. It's a not-gov culture. The biggest culprit in this affair is the spy in the middle of this net, and it's Rupert Murdoch, who completely controls News International. Murdoch runs operations around the world, building the News Corporation media empire, where there's more money to be made in Australia, United Kingdom, US and China. 